Cancer intrigues me because it's just this unchecked growth. I find that fascinating. Like, why does our body turn on itself in a sense? My research involves cisplatin, which is a very commonly used chemotherapy drug in the clinic. It is a platinum metal. It's used in a variety of cancers, um, from ovarian, testicular, lung, and we're interested in understanding the mechanisms of resistance. What can we do now to increase the response to chemotherapy? How can we make it less toxic? One of the mechanisms that we study here is how can we understand how much drug is getting inside a tumor. In the past, we take a population of cells, we treat them with cisplatin, and then we will digest them and measure them by traditional ICP mass. And we get one number. And that one number automatically assumes that every cell responds the same. And we know that is not the case in cancer or else if everything responded the same, we would never see relapsing. We've never been able to see the amount of platinum inside a single cell. This was kind of a, a question that I had just in a casual conversation. Lauren said, it's like, it would be great if we can look at um, platinum content by individual cell. This is the pain point. We want to try to look at the resistance cell in the whole population of cells. Like, I think we have an idea. And they, you know, immediately responded, yeah, this would be awesome. And, you know, would you be interested in testing this out? And I said, absolutely. Single cell ICPMS changed the way Lauren uh, tackles her samples now. In single cell, they will have those one million cells, they add that chemical to them, and now they're gonna get a response for every cell. This collaboration between us here at NIH and Perkin Elmer is really helping accelerate us, turning discovery into health. Now we see each cancer cell, and we see how each cancer cell is responding to the therapy. You know, you see it real time, it's exciting. You don't want to have patients where the cancer reappears for them. And this is where I, th I think a single cell, by uncovering those resistant cell percentage in that cell population. Now we've got a leg up on the cancer with this new technology. And anytime we have a leg up on cancer, the better it's going to be for, for cancer patients.